Hey guys, you're watching Boogie Plays Games, or sometimes Boogie Plays Games. Today, we're going to mess around with a little bit of Pokemon. I have this super incredible gift box. I've never seen anything like this uh, in my entire time of playing card games. I've never seen anything like this for Magic or Pokemon. This thing was massive, and it was absurdly expensive too. This was 80 bucks at my local Barnes & Nobles, but I was glad to pay it because you get... So much value in this box. Holy moly. Um, apparently, you're getting card storage. You're getting 10 packs of generations. You get the figures, which is the reason I had to have it. The Muse plus Mewtwo figure. You get the two EXs. I gotta say, I think this is a pretty smart investment, and I really look forward to getting right into it. And as per usual, I'm going to do this unboxing the way that you guys seem to like my unboxings, completely without editing or any BS, and we're going to get right into it. This thing is crazy cool. Um, they really did not do stuff like this for Magic the Gathering. And I, boy, do I wish they did, especially with these cool singles. This box alone with the Pikachu window is so cool. I don't know if I'll be able to do anything with this afterwards. With the Pikachu, if you can see the two and the zero, that's so cool. This box is really sturdy, too. There's probably some use for that and we'll have to figure out what to do with it um and then of course here we have the generation facts one two three here's the oh these are textured well there's my card i definitely do not want to lose that card these are very good cards to have online 10 total packs i think is what we're getting of generations and then the two exs man that's crazy uh big pack of dividers with the Generations 20-year logo on it. Um, let's see here. Oh, I don't... Oh, geez. Where are you? Where are you? Where are... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Where's... There he is. Okay. All right, so there's the packs. We'll set those aside for now. Here are the Mew and the Mewtwo, and they are textured. This is the Photon Wave Cyber version of Mewtwo. Not the best Mewtwo in standard. Still really, really good, though. Um, and then this Mew, which is just pretty much amazing. He has Versatile and Replace... And both of those... Wow, look at the foiling on Mew! My goodness! My goodness, and they're both textured. Incredible. Just so incredible. Love everything about this so far. Okay, next up is the figure, and this is why I had to have it. There is Mew and Mewtwo. Oh, man. I love how Mew... He's connected to the base there, but it almost looks like he's not even connected. He's just flying, man. That is great. Wow, that, that piece is connected to his tail. That is a, that's the this is one of the best figures I own. I wish it was bigger. Obviously, look how small it is in real life. To, you know, it's the size of my eyeball, but it's a beautiful figure. What an incredible figure! All right, well, I already am satisfied. We can end the video here. That was worth that was worth eighty bucks. Right there. Good news is we don't have to end it here because next up is this illustration collection. Wow, I can't wait to get into this. We're, I probably, I don't know what copyright is like here for this kind of thing on YouTube. I probably can't show off the whole book, um, but we'll definitely flip through it here to see what we're getting in this. This is crazy. Look at this. Look at this. I love these little art books. There's Rayquaza fighting Mew, or Mewtwo. Oh, man. Different card arts. Some of these look like straight from the cards. Some of these look like they're straight from the animation. Wow. Wow. Oh, okay. I love these types of art books. I, I love that every time they've ever done one of these for Magic, I've collected them. One, every time they've done one of these for Pretty much anything. Some of the video games I get. This is one of the reasons I buy collector's editions so frequently. So yeah, that's great. That is incredible. That's going to be my new coffee table book for some amount of time. Beautiful. Love that. Love that. And then here is our card storage. And these are basically just fat pack boxes a little bit longer though. And then of course you've got the big box itself. So I, here, before I even get into these smaller boxes, let me answer this question. Is there a use for this bigger box? Because will it work together? Do these boxes fit? Obviously they should. Obviously they should. And obviously they do. Yes. 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 So this will probably be my new box for the game room, the game studio, where I keep everything. I think this 
I think this cover even comes off. I think, well, no, maybe not. I don't know, man. That's nice, though. That is super nice. Storage boxes are basically what you'd expect from fat pack boxes. I always don't, I hate these that are in the top of the Pokemon ones. They're not in the magic ones, and they can damage your card. So I always take those out, even if it means the box isn't as sturdy. So we'll do that. And of course, the other two are exactly the same. You got Venusaur, Charizard, Blastoise. Really wish, really wish that uh, they could have fit a Pikachu box in here too, but it, I can obviously see why they couldn't. So let's get right into our packs then. We definitely need to get these sleeved ASAP. Um, Charizard, Pikachu, Pikachu, Venusaur, Charizard. Those cool dividers, man. Very welcome to have those. There's my card code. Is it 10? Should be 10 total. How will it be 10, though? Oh, there's only two Blastoise. That's how. Two Blastoise, two Venusaurs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, well, let's go from... Well, let's start with Blastoise. Let's start with Blastoise. I'm almost, almost done with Generations uh, for the most part. I've gotten most of what I want out of Generations. So what we're looking for is any EX, obviously. But if we can hit a, uh, if we can hit um, full art, that's really what we're digging for here. So let's hope for this. Oh, there's a nice foil Team Flare Grunt. That's very welcome. A foiled Jirachi and a regular Jinx is our rare. Interesting. Interesting. Next up, another Blastoise back here. Hoping for the good stuff. Do the card trick. One, two, three. There we go. I've been, I had a bad tendency with my previous unboxings. There's red card. And Makuni. Uh, in my previous unboxings, I have been accidentally showing off the last card's border. There's a foil Meowth. A foiled Meowth stick. Nice! Woo! There we go. Vaporeon EX, very nice. Very welcome there. Holy moly. Gotta, I gotta sort out my rares as we go. Or else I'll, my rares and my foils, or else I'll, I'll forget them. I'll mess it up. And I'll have to resort them all. So you gotta do it as we go. The other thing I've been doing lately with my collection is, uh, for the most part, I immediately take out my trainer cards. And I'm keeping a trainer card box. Because, you know, the majority of decks are trainer cards for the most part. I'm running 15 energy. 13, 14 uh, basic pokes with a few evolutions. Um, and then everything else is, is is trainer cards. A lot of items as well. Clement, Pokemon Center Lady, Flabebe, Shelter, Doduo, Energy, Machop. There's Raichu. Behind Raichu. Wow! Mega Gardevoir EX. And behind it, a regular Gyarados. Wow! We're definitely getting the full arts. We're definitely, not full arts, uh, but the, the shinies. Here, definitely getting the rares. And that is a full art. Um, but aren't all Megas? I'm not sure. Most Megas are, right? I forget. I have hardly ever played with a Mega, honestly. Why? That is that is weird. Play with a lot of EXs. Very rarely play with any Megas. But there's the Pokeball. Persian. Charmander. Machop. Slowpoke. Krabby. Revitalizer. Behind Revitalizer, another foil Jirachi. Behind oh! Wow! Holy moly! I do not even have one of these. I do not even have one of these. This is my first Leafeon, I think. Nature's Breath, 90 damage is a stadium card play, do 30 more with Leaf Blade. Wow! Wow! Man, that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. I am trying to use my like rainbow energies, my my multiple color energies, to try to do um to try to make an evolution deck. I had one um, on the app. The app told me to beat X like 20 people or 30 people with evolved Pokemon. So I made an EV deck and I had a lot of fun with it. Now I want to make one with all the evolution EXs. I really think that would be a lot of fun. Mr. Mime, Energy Switch, Charmeleon, Geodude, uh, Grass Energy, Machop, Krabby. Oh, nice. Love the foil energies. Any chance you get to get these. For those of you playing Mad of the Gathering, Kaladesh is coming out soon, and they need energy tokens. These are the perfect energy tokens, especially foiled ones. I love. I'm going to definitely use that for that. A foiled Meow Stick, and behind it, Pinsir. Not too exciting there with Pinsir, but this box has turned out to be pretty, 
Well, incredible. What a hell of a price tag, though. It hurt to buy this, but I knew I wanted it, and I knew you guys would appreciate me sharing it with you, so I'm so glad to do it. Machoke, Crushing Hammer, Swablu, Tangela, Geodude, Energy, Paris, Nice a foiled Shauna. Very welcome. A foiled DNC. And another pincer. That pincer's okay to play with. He's not great, but he's okay. I've used him on the online app. Here we go. If we can pull even just one more, one more EX, this box will have been insane. Clefable, Golbat, Fletchling, Energy, Meowth, Magmar, Pikachu. There's a Pokemon Fan Club foiled. Nice. A Meowstic foiled. And a regular Tauros. One more EX. This is probably the very last time I will buy any Generations boosters. Um, I do also have that I do plan to open on stream a uh, Generations uh, Elite Trainer box. I needed even more storage. <laughs> you guys have seen how my collection has grown. Um, so I needed even more storage. That'll open on stream at the point this week. So these are going to be some of the very, very last um, Generations boosters I will probably ever open. Magikarp. There is a foiled Rhyhorn. A foiled Evil Tall. Oh, shit! Well, all right. I already have three Venusaur EXs, and this will be my fourth. Very glad to have it, though. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Man, what a lucky box. I'm looking at this pile of, of, of uh, uh, amazing cards. Oh, jeez. This, uh, this alone might be a great way to jumpstart um, a collection. I really think this is good, good investment. Maintenance. Clefable, Raichu, Krabby, Ghastly, Water Energy, Doduo, there is Paris, Paris, Slurpuff, mm. Gengar, regular, oh, it is Holo, it is Holo, nice, a lot of foils, I love Generations for that third foil slot, last pack, can we pull anything amazing, can we pull anything good, can we pull anything decent, that's really all that matters at this point, I've already, I'm already looking at the stack right here, and I'll show it to you in a second, and you'll realize if we pulled anything else here, it'd just be unfair. Golbat, Olympia, Shroomish, Diglett, Paris, Pikachu, Energy. There is a foiled Reverse Hollow Machomp. Yeah, Reverse Hollow. Wow! Are you kidding me? Are Oh my god! <laughs> what are you... Are you joking? Are you joking? My God, Flareon EX, Golem EX, Full Art Flareon EX. It's my fourth Full Art Flareon EX. I can build the deck with just Full Art. <laughs> what a box, man. Wow. I mean, wow. These two cards alone. I mean, obviously they'll drop in value because they've been mass printed now, but wow. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight EXs out of the box. Two naturally came in it. But one, two, three, four, five, six out of ten packs. Absurd. Absolutely absurd. Well, man, I blew all my luck today on Pokemon cards. Should have played the lottery. Guys, thanks for watching. I love you very much. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I have to go get the sleaze. Ma! Hey, Ma! Get the sleaze, Ma!